RPMs to the top end, cleans out Chris, and when you drop off, the idle is staying, staying the same all the way down. That tells me that the bottom end is pretty good, the top end is good. Um, just give it a couple more revs here to kind of show you what I listen to in my engine. steps again on just kind of where to start when you change to the maximum fuel. My first step is to richen the needles up to about flush top end, flush bottom end. Um, I think it's easier to tune for new fuel when your engine is is on the rich side than just putting new fuel in and starting right at your normal tune just because you don't really know where you're going to be at. Some will be leaner on the top end maybe richer on the bottom, then a different fuel maybe, you know, you need it leaner on the bottom, richer on the top. So if you can just start both ends rich, I think that's the best way to do it. Um, once you fire your engine up, you're going to want to, you know, warm it up a little bit. Um, start adjusting the top end first. I think that's easier to, to kind of tell where you're going. Um, the bottom end can be tricky um, because both ends aren't really cleaning out properly. So, you're going to start with just leaning out your top end. Um, you know, if it's pretty rich, I would go quarter turn, half turn increments. Um, you know, if you're more advanced, half turn is okay because you'll know kind of where you need to be. Um, if you're not too advanced, just go quarter turn at a time so you don't get your engine way too lean. Um, but you're going to want to just look for about half throttle to full throttle, the engine starting to clean out. Once it's cleaning out pretty well, you know, it's not going to clean out good on the bottom end because it's still going to be rich. But from about half throttle to full throttle, once that's cleaning out good, you're going to want to go down to the bottom end. Since you've leaned your top end a little bit, you're going to want to turn your idle down just a little bit because as you lean your engine out, your idle will raise. So then you're going to take your attention to the bottom end needle. Um, same thing, you know, start corner turn increments. You know, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can go half turn. Um, you don't want to get it too far, too quick. You know, take your time tuning. Um, the engine has to, you know, get fuel through it even once you adjust. So, you know, if you're leaning out and your next throttle blip, it's not different. You know, just kind of ease onto the throttle. Don't just grab full throttle every time. You know, ease on, get the fuel to burn through, get the setting to actually you know, have some time to adjust. So you're going to go to your bottom end, you're going to start leaning it out. And when, what I really look for in the bottom end at first is, you know, once I start cleaning my engine out, you know, how does it, 
how does it idle after it comes from the higher RPMs? When your bottom end's really rich, right when it comes off the high RPMs, it's going to be at a high idle, and you know it'll go about you know one second to two seconds depending on how rich it is, and then the idle will dramatically drop. That to me tells me that the engine is so rich on the bottom. So I'll keep leaning the bottom end quarter turn to a half turn at a time to, <clears throat> to get it to where the idle staying pretty smooth. Um, again, once you start leaning the bottom in, you might have to adjust your idle a little bit just to bring it down because as your engine leans out, the idle will raise. So when it's starting to get a little bit closer to race tune, what I'm really looking for is for it to just clean out real consistent from the bottom end to the top end. You want a consistent sound and a consistent smoke stream out of the exhaust. Alright, so one technique that I like to use when it's getting really close to hitting the track is I'll go from neutral to about half throttle. What I'm looking for there is very little smoke to come out and for the engine to have a consistent sound until it gets to about half throttle. Once it's there, it's going to almost get a pinging sound, which you may think is a lean sound, but, you know, I really, with this feel, you really want your bottom end to clean out real nice. You can run it a little bit leaner than with any other fuel out there. Um, so that's one thing to look for. Then after, you know, I get that sound where I want it, I'm going to just go through all the RPMs, start at neutral, just roll through all the way to full throttle till the higher RPMs come up, and then again, listen to the idle. You want the idle after the high RPMs to set, you know, <clears throat> not too high, pretty good, and to stay really consistent. Um, you know, you should be able to go through, you know, four or five seconds of counting without the idle dropping. If it's still dropping, your bottom end is still a little bit too rich. Um, once you get that good, another technique that I like to use, you know, once all that is all, you know, good and you're liking the way it's sounding, is uh, the 10 second rule. What that is, is I'll clean it out again through, you know, low RPMs all the way up to the high RPMs. Once I get to the, the highest RPM, I'll just drop it back to neutral, count to 10. When I get to 10, just real quick, you're not going to roll on, you're just going to go from neutral to full throttle and you really want it to just you know not lag not load up not puff smoke just a real fresh <clears throat> you know rev through all the rpms with a consistent smoke stream when that's good you're ready to hit the track thanks for watching hopefully you can get yourself some action and fuel get your engine tuned up and start running over 10 minutes